great crowds had gathered to watch us die. Father Campion was first. He gave a stirring speech that moved the throngs and enraged the authorities. I prayed as he was brutally executed, his blood spattering on Father Alexander. And then I was led to the gallows. The executioner advanced on me saying, come Sherwin, take you also your wages. His arms and hands were covered in Father Campion's blood, so I reverently kissed them before taking my place and absorbing myself in prayer. I was then allowed to give a speech. I have no occasion to tell a lie, I said. It is a case where my soul is at stake. And although in this short time of mortal life, I am to undergo the infamy and punishment of a traitor, I make no doubt of my future happiness through Jesus Christ, in whose death, passion and blood, I only trust. If to be a Catholic only, if to be a perfect Catholic, be to be a traitor, then I am a traitor. The moment had arrived, the time when I would step through the hidden veil into eternity. With the noose around my neck, I offered one last prayer for my friends, for Pascal, for England and for souls. Father Alexander Bryant prayed for me as he awaited his turn. And as the cart was drawn away from beneath me, I cried out, Jesus, 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 be to me a Jesus. journey upon earth had ended.